Well, hello, hello. Hi, my friends, and welcome to the Lash Bash mini beauty sesh. That's a mouthful. Lash Bash beauty sesh. Anyway, um, I am coming to you live tonight from Oakdale, California. My name is Charlotte Metcalf, and I am excited just to uh, say hello. So cheers. Um, I've got people watching from coming from different Facebook groups tonight, my um, VIP Facebook group, as well as our Beauty Babes Facebook group. So I'm hoping um, as well as YouTube. So that's exciting. Um, all due to a fancy schmancy um, little service called StreamYard, <laughs> which I'm very thankful for. So we'll see how it holds up tonight. Anyhow, I don't see any eyeballs yet. So I'm hoping to get an eyeball. There's an eyeball, yay! Hello, eyeball. If you can drop me a comment, then I'll know who's there and maybe I can see the comments. That'll be great as they come in. Um, anyway, whoever's there, cheers. <laughs> I'm your Pinot Grigio friend here. I've got my little glass of wine. And hey, tonight it is all about lashes. <laughs> We're gonna be talking about these little suckers. And you know, this um, you know, this group is really designed for the woman, you know, the more mature woman, the woman who is going through changes, right? And hey, if you haven't given StreamYard permission to use your name, if you could just say, I see a darling smiley face. If you could type um, your name in there, then I would know who you are because right now it just says Facebook user. But anyway, that is helpful to me. Um, so anyway, um, you know, as we age and get older, things just start happening to us and it's really not that exciting, is it? <laughs> so I just experienced a birthday. Uh, the very last day of May. And I am officially in that category of what one of my friends said, the double knuckles. I was like, hey, <laughs> I'm a double knuckle girl. And I also re realized that I am now getting a discount for being a senior citizen. So, you know, but with that, with getting older, it comes challenges that we face. And we're gonna talk about that tonight. And one of those challenges is has to do with our darn lashes, right? It's not enough that we go through so many other changes as we age, but we're gonna talk about how to maintain healthy, full, beautiful looking lashes. Um, and honestly, without having to um, wear false lashes, get lash extensions and all that kind of stuff. And if you like to do that, that is just fine. Hey, Lacey, nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Um, you know, false lashes are fun and they're all the rage, right? There's nothing wrong with that, but there might be a little something wrong with it. And we'll talk about that a little bit later as we get started. Hey, Beth, yay, I see you. That's wonderful. And Loretta's on. Mwah, mwah, mwah. To my friends, cheers. <laughs> So nice to see you guys. Well, I um, uh, just thought I would mention, I hope you all received your summer catalog. It's so nice, you know, I don't know about you guys, but it's fun to get a catalog in the mail, right? And so if, um, hopefully you received a catalog in the mail from your consultant and it always comes with some free samples, which is really nice as well. And so that's just something that's kind of fun. It's a little old fashioned, but nice. You know, that's one thing I love about Mary Kay. I mean. I used to love just getting the newspaper and going straight to the Target ad, you know, and there's just something about getting a catalog that's that's great. So I hope you enjoy your catalog and actually benefit from it. There's a lot of great tips and tutorials in there. Um, and yes, Liz is your Mary Kay lady. That's so nice. And I'm sure she you got a catalog in the mail because of Liz. Um, well, anyway, I wanted to also just talk a little bit before we get started about current events. Okay, so I, I have been told that officially on June 15th, uh, California is opening up where we don't have to wear the masks anymore. So I guess that's gonna be the case. I actually haven't read that, but hey, that'll be awesome. And I've already seen, you know, like a big decline. Like I used to feel so guilty if I ran in for a quick drop off in the post office, like not even inside where they work, but like in the little slot, you know? And I was like, I'm just running in and running out. And so I started kind of doing that, you know, and then I was feeling guilty, but now I'm like, you know, I've got the vaccine. I'm like, it's okay now. And gosh, I'm noticing a lot more people are, you know, not masking up like they were. Hey, hey, Carla, yay. 
Um, so anyhow, that's kind of interesting. I do want to say uh, last week I traveled to Oklahoma City to visit my family, got to stay with my beautiful sister, Carla, spent my birthday with her and her family at their awesome cabin on this lake that we grew up water skiing on. Um, my dad always took my sister and I every other weekend to Lake Eufaula, Oklahoma. And my sister carried on that tradition. Um, after my dad passed away, she she and her husband bought a little cabin. It's adorable. They have waterfront property. They have a beautiful boat. So, um, oh, our governor has decided not to open California. Oh, bummer. Are you kidding me? Well, let me tell you, Oklahoma's open. <laughs> so I had a good time being in Oklahoma. Didn't really wear the mask. I mean, it was, it was really pretty great. Um, and, uh, you know, anyway, that's all. I'm, oh, by the way, just want to give a little plug for Oklahoma. Right now, there's several things going on in Oklahoma City. If you're, if you're a fan of softball, you might take note that the softball national championship is going on in Oklahoma City right now. And do you know, we have a player from the good old town of Oakdale, California, Grace Green. Cheers to Grace. Oh, I should get my pom pom my pom-pom cheers to grace green because she is on the university of oklahoma softball team i think my sister just texted me that she scored a hit my daughter bethany's been watching all these games and she was very disappointed that she hadn't seen grace green yet but apparently grace green is on tonight so that's pretty exciting so um congratulations to her the other thing really cool about oklahoma city oh my goodness it is going to be the new convention town let me tell you they are making they are getting on the map. Oklahoma City downtown is amazing. Not only do they host, you know, um, this softball thing that's going on, but um, did you know that Oklahoma City also is the host to the national rowing, Olympic rowing team? So that's pretty cool. And they have this huge rowing, um, you know, Olympic rowing center off of the big river, Canadian river in downtown Oklahoma city. And, but they have, they have, they have a canal now and it's very much like San Antonio, but much nicer. And you all would just be so impressed with Oklahoma city and they have a convention center and an Omni. I mean, it's amazing. Anyway, I was very impressed at Oklahoma city. So that was a lot of fun, but the most fun about it was getting to see my family. And then of course we watched the friends reunion. Can we talk about that as, as have you seen the Friends reunion? I wouldn't have seen it if I hadn't been home in Oklahoma because I don't have HBO, but my sister and their family do, and that was pretty cool. So lots of fun with the Friends reunion. Oh, you just saw her bat. That's so awesome. I hope she got a hit. <laughs> anyway, and then the last thing I want to mention on current events um, is Father's Day is coming up. Since we last were together, we had Mother's Day. I hope you had a lovely Mother's Day. And now we got to worry about the fathers. So I'll be giving a little plug real quick for our beard oil. Don't know if you know that we have beard oil for the guys. And oh my goodness, you guys, this is a nice product. Um, my husband has a beard. Oh, and I tell him to put it on at night because <laughs> it really is nice. Um, I will say real quick on a quick plug for the beard oil. Um, Oh my gosh, it conditions and softens the facial hair, obviously. Um, it smells like peppermint and clary sage. All I know is it smells like heaven. And here's these sexy little models. I think my husband's much cuter, but I don't have a picture of him to show you. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a really great product and it retails for $20. You know, that's great. And um, but anyway, let's go ahead and move on to this issue with lashes, okay? Um, I pulled an article, um, you know, I like to do some research and find articles. And so I just basically started studying, why do we start losing our lashes? You know, why is this, why does this have to happen to us? And this article that I found, I really liked, I'm just gonna kind of like read from it. It just said, grow old gracefully, meh. It's a cute idea, but most women know that between 30 and 85 keep a running list of the annoying changes that make graceful aging a difficult concept to swallow. Um, slower metabolism, check. Aches and pains, check. Thinning eyelashes, ugh. 
not a reality that we're excited about. Some of these bodily changes are easier to accept than others, but thinning eyelashes is not one of them. That's just plain old annoying. Long, thick eyelashes are both striking and enticing, and when they thin and shorten, it's utterly disappointing, right? I'm sure we can all relate to this. Who needs another reason to hate the aging process? <laughs> Whatever. So why do eyelashes thin and shorten anyway? And is there a cure for it? So I want to briefly just mention why they thin and everything. Um, the aging, well, due to aging and menopause, hello, right? Um, aging and menopause often resort, result in a hormonal imbalance um, that thin hair, I, you know, thinning of the hair, right? Oh, I got to talk to you about my hair in a little bit too. I had a hair appointment today. Oh my gosh. Um, thinning hair, eyebrows, and eyelashes. Okay. That's just a result of an, a hormonal imbalance. Um, rough treatment such as vigorous scrubbing while removing your eye makeup. That's a big no-no. Um, can result in loss of eyelashes. Allergic reaction. You might have an allergic reaction to some mascara or what have you. Um, sadly, eyelash extensions, for those of you that have done that, um, it says use a medical grade eyelash extensions, use a medical grade glue to attach your natural lashes and tugging them off rather than allowing them to fall out on their own can result in thinning eyelashes. Pulling off false eyelashes without using an oil-based cleanser first to soften the glue also damages your natural lashes. Um, and then there's medical conditions, excessive stress. Hello, we all know we gotta control our stress. That is a big component of a lot of our problems. And then of course, if you've had cancer, which I'm sure some of you have, then chemotherapy drugs will obviously cause the hair loss, right? So is there a solution? Um, and that's, we're gonna touch on that. Um, but in addition, I'm going to actually do an actual eyelash demo for you. I'm going to take off one of my eyes tonight, just so you know what we're doing. I, I haven't practiced this, so I'm hoping it goes over. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to remove one of my eyelash, one of my, my whole eye, right? I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to show you a cool technique tonight that will hopefully give us the results we're wanting that has to do with, um, we're going to prime our lash, my lashes first. We're going to do this minking treatment on it. We're going to mink the lashes and we're going to apply a really cool, we're going to do, we're going to do two different mascaras and I've never layered my mascaras before, but it's a new technique I learned from a makeup artist by the name of Lori Hogg, who is like a celebrity makeup artist who loves Mary Kay products. And that's really awesome. And by the way, she had um, mentioned in a workshop that she did that most celebrity, um, I forgot what she called them, the A-list people, whatever that means. Anyway, they don't wear the false eyelashes and they don't wear, um, oh, hey, Jamie. Um, they don't wear the lash extensions and the false eyelashes because they want to be able to say that they have real, it's their real lashes. So, you know, um, I can't say that's true for me in all aspects of my life because my nails, hello, love my false nails, <laughs> but I haven't gone to the false lash stuff. Um, I have pretty decent lashes, but you know what? They're falling out. <laughs> They're getting thinner just as my eyebrows are, but we're going to have help for that. Okay. So we're going to have help for lash fallout. We're going to talk about how to, how to have fuller looking lashes without using false eyelashes and how to maintain those lashes. And then of course I'm going to do a lash demo. So don't forget we have prizes. So type your name in the chat if you haven't already, because I'm giving away prizes tonight. I'm just going to give you a little teaser. What a cute box. Hello, your prize is in here. So I have a prize for any consultants. Consultants are going to be in the drawing as well as any guests that are on here. And there's a prize for each of you. So in order to get a prize, you need to drop a comment. And um, that's how you get entered. And stay on till the end so that you can claim your prize. Okay, so it's last time. Okay, so we're first up on the lineup is I want to talk to you about um, our lash serum. Okay, it's it's really important to, um, you know, use 
I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I do want to start with the lash serum, the lash and brow building serum. Um, this is a really cool product. This is the product that helps grow your brows, help them to be thicker and fuller, and to help your lashes appear longer and fuller. Okay. And it comes in a package like this. Okay. And it's got these nifty little instructions in it. And when you open it up and you read the instructions, it tells you exactly what it's for and what it does, but it's in this funky little tube. But when you open the tube, then voila, this little tiny serum wand is in here that looks like a mascara. I have mine out, so I'm gonna just show you mine. Um, it's right here. So this is my Lash and Brow Building Serum. This is something you all need to have, okay? This is something I'm highly recommending you get and that you start making it part of your nighttime routine. You're gonna do this as your last step before you go to bed. And you may have to put a sticky note on your bathroom mirror to remind you to use, if you forget to use certain products, you know, it just helps to add a little sticky note. So let me tell you straight up from, I have a, a sheet on this, but I'm gonna just tell you straight up from the directions why this is a great product, okay? It says, Mary Kay Lash and Brow Building Serum helps lashes live up to their fullest potential. It is formulated to help reduce lash loss while creating the appearance of healthier, fuller looking eyelashes. Our proprietary lash building complex is the result of extensive research and combines a matrix supporting peptide with amino acids to fortify lashes. Used at night, the clear quick drying formula is safe effective and easy to apply, providing results without discoloration of eyelids or the eyes. Thin, sparse brows look healthier after use and seem to be in better condition. It's ophthalmology tested, suitable for contact lens wearers and sensitive eyes. And it says under the directions, before applying the Mary Kay Lash and Brow Building Serum each night, be sure your skin is clean and dry and you've removed your contact lenses. Um, for lashes, apply the unique formula to the base of your upper lash, starting from the inside and working your way out. And it does say that, let's see, um, where the eyelashes meet the skin, gliding the formula from the inner part of your lash line to the outer part and re repeat on the opposite eyelid. For the brow, apply in the direction of the hair growth, okay? repeat on the opposite brow. So it gives you exactly what you need to do. And I, I mean, all of our products do, but it's very helpful with something like that. So, um, I, and, it, and basically it says, if you use it for 30 days, give it 30 days and you'll start noticing the results. So I have been doing this and I'm definitely applying it on my eyebrows. And I just did it last night along my lash line, starting here. And you just put it on like you would a liquid eyeliner, okay? And it's one little coat and it's get as close to the skin as possible along that lash line. And you don't do it on your lower lashes, just the top one. And I do want to make a quick point that um, there is something to be said for as we age, um, our eyes get darker, okay? They just do. Like there's there's dark circles that show up more. They get a hollowed, more hollowed outlook, you know, whatever. It's just things that happen to us. Consider eliminating doing stuff under on your lower lashes, including eyeliner and mascara. Um, it will open your eyes up more and it should give you a more youthful look. So, if you're a person who has been wearing, you know, mascara, eyeliner and everything on the lower lash, try going this week with just the top and seeing what you think about it and, and see if it makes you look a little bit younger and more youthful um, and open you up a little bit more. Um, so that's what I wanted to mention about that. So um, that product, this product, um, I don't know. I think it retails for 30. Oh, I can look real quick in my handy dandy notebook, <laughs> the handy dandy lookbook. I think it's 36. Um, yes, $36. It's in the mascara category and it's right up here somewhere. Okay. And 
it will last. I would say, you know, any of any of your mascara tech products, which would include the lash serum, lash primer, um, you really want to be done after you open it, you want to use it up within four months, three to four months. And that's what they recommend. Otherwise, it's it's time to toss it and get something new. OK, um, so let's move on to lash primer. And I'm going to just go ahead and start my demo while I talk about these products, because um, so I'm going to start with, first of all, oh, my goodness, um, it's really important that you take off your mascara for crying out loud. And let's talk about why we wear mascara. I mean, some of you may not, but mascara is really important. It's an important, um, it just it just helps. Why do you wear mascara? Do you, do you wear mascara? And if so, drop me a comment and tell me why you wear mascara. And I know for me, there's like the other night, I didn't, or the other day, I didn't want to put on any, hardly anything. But I did put on mascara, no eyeshadow. I put on a little lip gloss and I felt like I had something on. Um, there's something about putting on mascara that really helps. Um, it just helps our appearance. <laughs> so um, if you're not taking the time to put on mascara, I just, it's a step that you probably need to do if you're doing everything else, right? Um, okay, so it's really important though, if you are wearing mascara, that you remove it. Um, one of the reasons our lashes fall out is because we don't take good care of, um, yeah, simple makeup. A simple makeup routine, Jamie, is mascara. I agree. It's a perfect little simple look. Mascara and lip gloss is basically what you need in some powder or something, right? So oil-free eye makeup remover, we have the best one on the market. You have to shake it to activate it. It's a silicone-based product. Um, if you you want to remove your eye makeup at night for sure, and then that just motivates you to clean your skin at night. And we don't want to get lazy and not wash our face at night. It's a must. It's sort of like making sure you work out every day, you know, go on your walk or whatever it is you need to do. We've got to keep um, our muscle tone up. We've got to stay active. We've got to wash our face at night, ladies. So once you start taking off your eye makeup, then you're like, well, I might as well wash my face, <laughs> right? So um, I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to do just one eye. And I've got a little mirror here to look at. And um, anyway, eye mites, by the way, you know, there's such a thing as eye mites that feed on old mascara. And so if you sleep in your mascara, it's just not a good thing. And some people sleep in it and just get up and brush their teeth and go on about their day the next day. And, you know, I have done that a couple of times in my life when like I've had to, when I've been on the road traveling or something and we got up super early and whatever, but it's not good to do that. Okay. So you're going to hold it up to your eye for just a second. And then you're just going to gently, uh, very gentle, you know, you don't want to tug and pull anything around the eye area. It's where we show our age also, you know, more quickly. And I am just wearing the mascara and everything on my top. And the only thing I did today was put a little bit of, um, eyeshadow underneath here, just a teeny bit. But for the most part, I just do everything on top. So obviously takes off my mascara, very easy, gentle. And this this uh, product retails for $17, our oil-free eye makeup remover, our number one best-selling product. It's a must have in your routine. I'm just gonna pat dry the little tissue so that I don't have an oily well, it's not oily, it's oil free, but you know, since I'm going to turn around and put mascara on right away, <laughs> I want it to be dry. Okay, so there we go. And I thought it might be fun to add just a little bit of a base eyeshadow color so that we can kind of compare. And I have something on my eye. Um, I'm going to use the little eyeshadow um, light beam, it's a cream liquid eyeshadow, and I've got a cream applicator brush applicator and I am just going to do a I'm sorry if you can't see just going to do a couple of dots along my lower lash line like that and I'm going to take my little mirror right here and I'm just going to add a little bit of this light beam 
eyeshadow just so I have something on that lid. And that's, this is another great product for a simple makeup look is the liquid eyeshadow. So there's, it comes in four colors. I just happen to choose this little white one. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the next step that I would do daytime. If it was nighttime, I'd be doing, you know, my lash primer daytime. I'm going to go to the, I mean, I'd be doing my lash serum, right? But it's pretending that we're daytime lash primer. Okay. The lash primer retails for 15 and what the lash primer does basically is it conditions your lashes and you want to give it a nice coat. It has a nice little brush on it, just like a mascara wand. And basically what I do is I, I just skirt along that like that. And then I make sure I try to get all the lashes going all the way over. Okay. And you can do a little on the bottom if you like to put a little bit of mascara there. But this is going to prime your lashes. And the main reason you want to use it is there's a couple reasons, but one, it's it's conditioning and it's it's super good for your lashes. And then number two, it helps your mascara to stay on better and to go on easier and you use less mascara. Um, it intensifies lash volume and it cre creates longer looking lashes. So that's good. It's, it's specially designed dual action brush combines cotton and nylon fibers to coat and comb the lashes. Um, it lifts lashes and helps them stay curled longer. And there's a fact, it says makeup artists swear by mascara primer and with no color to cover up, you'll never have to worry about your primer showing through your mascara giving you a flawless look. So they do recommend that you move right on to your mascara um, when once you get the primer on. You're not supposed to let it dry. So this is the trick I'm excited about sharing with you tonight. I'm going to be using, um, it might be drying, but whatever, <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to be using the ultimate mascara tonight, but guess what? It's black brown, okay? Black brown is really the trick to getting a fuller looking lash, but we're gonna top it off with a solid black after this, okay? So we're gonna do a black brown because I normally wouldn't do a black brown by itself. And this is a wonderful mascara. The ultimate mascara is thickening and lengthening. Um, it's, 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 it's wonderful, it's, it's a great mascara. So again, I like to go along here and then you want to basically wiggle and roll, wiggle and roll to get the curvy look. And we're going to talk about, I did not curl my lashes ahead of time because I'm going to talk to you about that in a minute. I found out that lash curling your lashes is, can actually cause them to fall out as well. So if you're addicted to your lash curler, you might want to rethink that. <laughs> The stuff we have to deal with, right? So the black brown gives definition and it's kind of what we call a minking effect, especially when you add it with just the black. This side that I did today was just regular mascara without any, without any extra oomph besides the primer. Okay, so there's the black brown. And then I'm gonna take this crazy lash intensity mascara that I'll be honest, I don't normally use, but in the training I received, I thought, hmm, this is gonna, this is gonna give me that look I'm looking for, for the false lash look, okay? So thank you, already looks fuller, so nice, thank you. Um, okay, there's a little embossed thing on this lid that says Mary Kay. The trick is, you pull out this brush. I always just like to circle it around. They say you don't have to, but I always like to make sure I get the product on there. You don't want to pump, you know, the mascara up and down the wand because you're just going to pump air in there. This wand is crazy. I mean, it's like the mega, I, I used to be afraid of it. <laughs> so it's fat and I don't know, it's got a comb and a brush supposedly. So anyway, you put your thumb on the embossed Mary Kay thing. And that means you're in the right spot <laughs> to start with brushing and then you rotate it 
one swide and then you're combing. So it kind of takes the guesswork out of it. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay. Without poking my eye out, we're going to wriggle, wriggle and roll, wiggle and try to roll, wiggle and roll. And mind you, I just got a little spot there. Um, we're keeping it on the brush part and then, and you can, the cool thing with this is you can keep adding more to it if you want to dip your wand back in. And now I'm going to rotate my brush, okay? And I'm going to just start combing them. Supposedly that's the comb side. <laughs> it's hard for me to tell. But this is a great mascara. And you want to try to start at the base. Oh my, oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> there's the lash I just did and there's today's. Okay, and this would just be a normal day. I mean, obviously I haven't redone it, but I would never redo my mascara, <laughs> you know. This one is fuller, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to start using this more. Um, which, okay, this one is lash intensity and it, let me just tell you real quick about lash intensity. It's a little bit more expensive. Ultimate is 15 and lash intensity is 18. And of course the lash primer is 15. Um, lash intensity mascara. Okay, so we all have cheat sheets. All right, I'm just reading from my cheat sheet. Okay, um, it, I love, it says magnify, maxipi, maximize, multiply the look of your lashes. That's intense. Yeah, this looks like I have on false eyelashes. I'm excited about that. Expand and extend with our only mascara dedicated to multi-directional performance. With 200% more volume, it's like adding the thickness of two lashes onto every one plus gets 84% longer looking lashes. I would say that's hecka true. <laughs> anyway, special double impact brush designed to plump while combing through to lengthen the look of lashes. And by the way, I didn't even go back for a second round. I mean, you could keep going. And mineral rich, high impact pigment envelopes each lash in a perfect shade of black. So, you know, we did top it with black even though we started with black brown. Um, and it says, based on an independent clinical study um, me measured by an expert grader after applying two coats of mascara. So um, let's see. It has um, a TLC complex, which is triple lash conditioning. Lash intensity mascara is formulated with pro vitamin B5 also used in hair conditioners to help protect, condition, and strengthen the lashes. Also formulated with an emollient fatty acid compound shown to bind 100, 170% of its weight in water to help prevent lash breakage during makeup removal. Lastly, the formula contains vitamin E, a well-known protective antioxidant. That's pretty awesome. All of our products, I mean, anything Mary Kay done is either dermatology tested or ophthalmology tested. So this formal attributes are it is ophthalmology tested, suitable for contact lens wears, clinically tested for skin irritancy and allergies, and suitable for sensitive eyes. So it's got you covered there. So anyway, um, I'm so glad that you love it. That's great. You know, yeah, it's fun to try something. It's fun to kind of say, hey, I'm not a fan. I, I'm not a fan. I shouldn't say I'm not a fan. I am a fan of false lashes. I wish I was that person that would take the time to learn to do it. Like I even, I actually even, my good friend Pam that I do Seroptimus with um, has super fun false eyelashes. And I took the time to buy some and I ended up giving them to my son's girlfriend and I never even tried them, which is so ridiculous because I knew they would be fun. But it's just kind of like, because I don't know how to do it, I don't have the time to hassle with it. And I'm just sort of impatient that way. And I, I'm okay with my lashes the way they are. But I will say this, in the research that I did, it did say that false eyelashes um, and lash extensions and curling the lashes all contribute to lash fallout. So I would just consider, and let me put my glasses on because I wear glasses, right? I don't like to wear them on these events, but 
when when you wear glasses, you need to wear you need to wear more eyeshadow and you need to wear and that's why like false eyelashes are kind of nice for people that wear glasses because it shows up more. But my my this helps my glasses show better with this little mascara look. So oh and I didn't even put eyeliner on you guys. Oh my gosh. Usually I wear, you know, I love, love, love. Okay, this side. Wait, I can't close this eye, but this eye I have on the liquid black eyeliner, liquid eyeliner pen, and I was actually going to do that tonight and forgot. So, hecka, you can't even tell that I don't have the eyeliner on hardly. Interesting. Okay, I'm getting off track. I'm sorry. So let's have another toast real quick. Cheers to learning more about lashes. <laughs> um, okay, so... I want to tell you, we have a special for you. Oh my gosh, I have it running along the screen. If you buy three mascara, by the way, first of all, you are supposed to replace your mascara every three months. Um, that's what's recommended by Mary Kay. I looked this up online and other people recommend every six months. So I'm sticking with what Mary Kay says because they're all about safety. So they're safety first all the way. So if they say three to more four months, then that's what I'm going to go with. So if you buy three, you get one more free and you can you can mix it up. You could choose to buy the um, this stuff, the serum, the primer and get yourself maybe uh, one of these and then you could get, you know, the other one free, but it's going to have to be the less expensive one for free. So the $15 item one would be for free. But anyway, or you could just get, yeah, mix it up and you could do these and get four, you know, two of each of these if you wanted. And your, your fourth one will be free, which is awesome. And that is going on just this week. Okay. Because guess what? Us consultants are in a selling challenge to sell 10 mascaras this week. So Where's my pom pom? Would you please help us out? <laughs> Each of us needs to sell 10 mascaras. And if you buy three, you're going to get a fourth one free. That's going to count four for us, which will help us with our weekly selling challenge. And we like to win. So help your consultant win. And then to top it off, we're going to give you an extra special deal because we are fun and we are generous. And we have a June, I'll drop this in the Facebook groups, okay? But we have a flyer. And anytime you spend $50 this month, um, and it doesn't have to be all in one, like if you buy something now and then you buy something again later and it adds up to $50, then boom, you unlock a half off special. And it just so happens that the eye makeup remover, the oil-free eye makeup remover is on this flyer this time. So you would get that for half off, which is super cool. If you want to get something for your man, there's a really good shaving foam. You can get that half off. Um, lipsticks are half off. Anyway, it's just pretty fun. And let me see. Okay, so now it's time to, um, oh, the other thing I thought I'd show you just really quick before we do prizes. You know, Mary Kay gives us prizes. We give prizes in here in this group because it's fun. We work for prizes in Mary Kay, okay? So at the end of every month, I just got my prize today in the mail. And look how cute this bag is. It comes in this adorable bag. It's a monthly theme that Mary Kay had going on called Spark a Chain Reaction. I'm going to open my prize with you. This is like a thank you from Mary Kay for selling the product. So hello, my favorite color is pink. Look at this cute packaging. They get a couple of cards. This theme this month was called Embrace the Golden Rule. So they give us a little reminder card about that. I love the golden rule. Like I love, I'm all about that. Do you guys, does anyone here know, know what the golden rule means? Um, so anyway, do unto others as you would have them do unto you, right? I live by that. So anyway, that was their theme for this month. It's a, it's a Mary Kay um, truth that we go by. And this necklace is super on trend. I don't know if you guys are aware of how um, everything is about links and chains and wait a minute, I'm doing something. What am I doing wrong here? I think I'm, am I doing anything wrong or just do that? Maybe it just does that. Um, anyway, I think it just does that. Okay, this is the necklace. It's pretty cool. It's got this circle 
and then it goes down. I don't know. It's this lariat is what they called it, a lariat necklace. I don't know. Anyway, it's very nice, and it's just fun and frivolous, but we all like our jewelry in Mary Kay. <laughs> so as you order from your consultant, you're helping her win her jewelry and all that good stuff, and she's going to help and give you a good deal as well. Okay, so let's move on to prizes. Oh my gosh, Liz. So this might be a little tricky. Liz, can, I'm assuming you can see who, who is on. Let's go ahead and do a, um, let's go ahead and do a guest giveaway. And I'm gonna shake up the box while Liz pulls the winner. Um, here we go. And I'm gonna have Liz drop that in the comments for me. And while she's doing that, I'm going to take a little sip of my little treat here. I meant to talk to you about my haircut appointment today. Oh my gosh. Why is it when you get your haircut a little, little, especially now that I'm 55, um, little flyaways. I, I was like, oh my gosh, I got all this little hair sticking up everywhere. I don't know why hair does that. You know, it'll calm down, but so funny. I love, oh, Heather Thompson and Bass. Let's see. Oh, I'm glad Heather's here. That's awesome. Hi, Heather. Um, let's see. Is that Liz? Is that you telling me? Um, Liz, let's see. Yay. Okay. So I think Heather's the winner. Okay. Yay, Heather. Okay, Heather, I'm going to tell you, can I open your treat and tell you what you won? And as I'm doing that, um, Congratulations, where's my pom-pom? Yay to Heather. It's so fun to be on and be a winner. Because we're talking about lashes, and Liz, if you want to head and, go ahead and draw a consultant winner, that would be great. Thank you so much. Here's what you're getting in your little gift, okay? Because we like to give gifts. You're getting a deluxe mini oil-free eye makeup remover. So that's super fun. If you're traveling this summer, you could take that with you. And you're also getting a nice little mini of the ultimate mascara. So you got mascara and the eye makeup remover. And this is the same mascara, but in black that I tried tonight in this black brown. So it's thickening and lengthening and awesome. Congratulations, Heather. And the consultant is Lacey. So yay. <laughs> Congratulations, Lacey. It's taste to be on, my friend. That's awesome. Okay, you guys. Um, the only other thing I wanted to say is next week, um, we're going to be here again. I uh, Last month, we had talked about maybe just doing this once a month, and we just scratched that whole plan and decided we're going to do this once a week because our can, we all have a weekly selling challenge going on, and um we are going to be excited to just come back once a week and it's going to be a lot of fun. So next week's topic is going to be contouring and highlighting. And that is always kind of a fun topic because it's something us, some, some of us maybe never really take the time to do. Um, so we're going to do that. And I also want you to save the date for a very special fun event called Celebrating Women that we are going to bring to Oakdale for the very first time. And I'm super excited about it. We're going to spotlight a very special young lady in Oakdale who is a woman in business, a woman in business. Um, she happens to be the president and director and CEO. I don't know officially know what her title is. I think it's president and CEO of the Oakdale Tourism and Visitor Bureau. We're going to spotlight her while we celebrate um, you know, accomplishments within Team Be Beautiful. And then our guests are going to get to um, um, enjoy a fun makeover event. And we're going to be featuring the new beautiful eyelashes, I mean, eyelashes, <laughs> eye shadows that are in the beautiful pinks. And of course, our new lip glosses for this summer and some other fun products. And we can play around with doing this mascara look possibly. So that is going to be on Monday night, June 28th. Um, and more details to come on that. So anyway, that's it for tonight. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for being here with me. Um, and until next time, cheers and have a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks, you guys. Bye.
Yay!